etc., which is very, very important uh, to uh, expose. But but we're still walking around the edge of the rabbit hole. This is so deep, and we have to, I would suggest, open our minds to the fact that there are forces at work in the unseen, which Christians call demons, which Islamic believers call jinn, which other people call archons, other people call flyers in uh, Central America, the shaman. There is an unseen force manipulating this. And the idea is to put humans into such a low state of consciousness and awareness that the manipulating force becomes the um, one-eyed man in the land of the So blind. they basically want us to be robots. David, I love seeing your huge newsroom back there, but unfortunately your omnidirectional mic is picking up everything they're saying. I want to hear what you have to say. Can somebody shut that door? I'll do that. Thanks I'll a lot, brother. All right, good. I, I, do, I do like the shot, though, but... Uh, See when we went on air, the noise volume went up. So uh, yeah, it looks like you got a, a, a ant hill of uh, liberty lovers in there running yeah. around getting stuff done. Yeah. Please continue, David. <sighs> so, so, so they want to turn us into robots, basically. Yeah. And, Go uh, ahead. They want to um, they want to put us in a smaller um, perception a bubble than the manipulating forces in. Like I say, in the land of the blind, the one eyed man is king. And and you know, in terms of things going on now fundamental to pushing that further on is transhumanism. The idea is to sell us the belief that we can be enhanced by technological additions to the body. And th this, Alex, we've talked about this over the years. This is, um, this is bringing to light what I've said about the human body all these years, that it's a biological computer. Um, and because it's a biological computer, it can be connected and can interact with other forms of computer software, i.e. technological computers. You see, what you've got, um, th there was a story um, th this week in, in Britain about the invention of a, um, an artificial hand, which for the first time gave the person the ability to feel things to feel texture, to feel the softness of something that, that, that had never been done before. They could, they could move it and pick things up before, but they could never feel things. And it's a real simple uh, process in, in, in theme. There are electrical signals passing around the brain, and there are electrical signals that pass around the, the technology. It's electrochemical, and the yeah. brain has no firewall. Basically, what they're doing is making those two forms of energetic information talk to each other. And that, so, so the hand talks to the brain that way, and therefore the brain can decode the feeling of texture and touch. So what we're looking at then with transhumanism is putting in various technological bits of, of kit and stuff and connected it to the uh, the human body, the biological computer. And it's being sold, like I say, as a great step forward to beyond human, amazing things that humans can do. That's the, that's the sell. Because whenever you are selling something, whatever it is, the mobile phone technology connected to the smart meter technology, connected to the smart uh, television technology, whenever you are selling something that's real bad for the target population, you have to sell it as a benefit. Otherwise, people are going, not having that, you've got to sell. Oh, Virgin Atlantic has Google Glasses. Oh, my refrigerator talks to my smart yeah. meter. Oh, oh, it's this, all so wonderful. This is the, this is the thing. And so what um, the real agenda is, is not enhancing human beings. They don't want greater potential for human beings. They, they want to suppress human beings. It's to create a situation where the technology is talking to the brain and telling the brain what to think and what... And they sell think. it as enhancement. It's not that the technology itself would be bad. Exactly. It's that the people running it, deploying it, rolling it out have made it a Trojan horse openly to dehumanize us. Yeah, that's why, you know, my new book's called The Perception Deception, because that's what it all is. You know, we can talk about conspiracies involving banking and, and, and all these other things that we talk about quite rightly. But you take this whole conspiracy, Alex, 
down to its base. It is the Matrix. Stay there. I want to come back and talk about the book and, and, okay. and, and, and what's at the bottom of the rabbit hole here with this whole perception deception. And that's it. They're trying to insert us into a false system. We'll be right back. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs Generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs Generator and Lung Delivery System at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bacteria byproducts from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. By now, you may know that a Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency that's easily transferred from person to person over the Internet. No bank needed. This means lower fees and accounts can never be frozen, limited, or closed. Plus, a large number of businesses and merchants already accept Bitcoins. And Bitcoins are easily exchanged for dollars, euros, and more. If you're interested in making money in the Bitcoin market right away, and by right away we mean start making money today, please visit us at cloudhashing.com. Cloudhashing.com is one of the fastest growing Bitcoin miners in the world, delivering the highest profits to people just like you. To get started, join us at cloudhashing.com and you will start mining Bitcoins right away and get paid daily. You heard correctly. You will receive payments every single day. And the best part? You do not need a computer or need any experience in mining Bitcoins. It's perfect for everyone. Learn more at cloudhashing.com. Just like it sounds, cloudhashing.com. Start making money today at cloudhashing.com. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a block at Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Do you know about the NSA loophole? Or maybe you think your law-abiding ways are too boring for them to care about you. Tell that to the Virginia farmer who was audited by the IRS because of her Tea Party activities. Or the Texas man who woke up to a SWAT team raid because of online comments he had made about his gun collection. No, God-fearing Americans like you are in the crosshairs. Learn how to drop off the government's radar and get off the grid at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. Everybody knows that the days are loaded Everybody rolls with their fingers crossed Everybody knows the war is over Everybody knows the good guys lost Everybody does know now that we live in a technocracy. The globalists call themselves technocrats. I've been calling them that for at least 18 years, reading their own deep literature. Now they're public about it. And David Icke always talked about the emergence point when the agenda gets too big and too open to deny, 
They go, oh, it is real, and if you don't like it, you're a terrorist. There is a world government. There is global taxes. We are going to put chips in your brain. And if you don't take them, you'll be like a bug we're going to step on, a.k.a. Ray Kurzweil. And then you see doctors saying under two-year-olds should not have any screen time. It's brain damaging them. It's, it, it's lowering IQ. Language is shrinking. Parents unaware of dangers faced by children on smartphones. BBC. This is the reality, ladies and gentlemen. And the drugging of the public and the chemicals. It's an undoubted, aggressive, evil, criminal agenda. And David Icke joins us. He was getting to the key point there. And he's been talking about this 20 years, folks, saying they wanted to hack the brain, create a false neural system, take over. Now, uh, people say, well, he says it's entities in another dimension doing this. That sounds crazy. What does every culture say? Regardless of whether those entities are real or not, or that's some archetypal manifestation through people, I've been to Bohemian Grove. I've covered Skull and Bones. I know elitist. I grew up in the richest county in Texas where all the rich people were basically devil worshipers. We had to leave the town because of it. Okay? I mean, it was unbelievable. The stuff they tried to induct me into. I've seen stuff by the time I was 14 that most people never even imagined. And, and I can see it was all part of my life, part of a journey to know this stuff's real. The police stealing drugs, you name it. This is a short segment, long segment coming up. I'm ranting, David. It's just that regardless, the elites do believe they're getting power from these entities. Go ahead. Well, they are. I mean, you know, they're sick. And in terms of wisdom, they are without wisdom because cleverness and wisdom are not the same thing. Uh, cleverness is a very much lower level of, of ability, of intelligence. But they're not in that cleverness area. They're not stupid in that sense. So they're not going to be uh, all these centuries and right to the present day. They're not going to be worshipping some, something that is not there. But the whole point of which pulls all the strands together is the perception deception, because that is the crucial foundation. If you've got a target population of billions and you are, compared with that, a tiny cabal and the, the core of it hidden in the shadows, then you can't control that population um, physically in total. Uh, you can start to get there the more you, that you bring the population under mental control uh, through drugs and various other means, like the um, transhumanist technology will, 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 will come to. Um, but we're not quite there yet. We're not there yet. So they still have um, a situation where they have to control a target population. And the way, you, the only way you can do it is by manipulating their perception of self, of, of the world, of world events, of authority, so that that perception will suit your agenda for global control. And from perception comes what? Behavior and response, or in this world we live in, lack of response to what is going on. So you look at the education system, Alex, from this perspective, and it's a, it's a crucial part of the perception deception. Because, you know, you've got children increasingly from the earliest ages. I mean, you come out of the womb, Alex, um, and within, what, three years now? Suddenly, you're, you're, you're in a school, which are nothing more than prisons now, um, and you're having an authority figure telling you what's right, what's wrong, what's possible and impossible, what you can do, what you can't do, when you can go, when you can't go. And more and more power is being given to school authorities um, and, and taken away from parents. And that's a massive perception deception element because you then have control at least five days a week of that child and young person and students. Um, information that they receive basically and what you're doing um, through a rigged curriculum with with rigged uh versions of everything is that you are programming them to see themselves and the world and authority in the way that suits you all this stuff now with um the uh, cameras with the technology to get your dinner you have to give a fingerprint technology all these things all police in schools for goodness sake stay there 18 minute segment coming up david i'm gonna come okay. right back to you out of break david ike david ike.com i want to i want to read his new book because this is it this is a war against 
reality, a war against consciousness, a war against free will, a war on perception to insert us in an artificial habitat kill grid. We're on the march.